Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logies, and today we're going to be talking about orchids. In particular, we're going to be talking about the moth orchid, or the Phalaenopsis. And the Phalaenopsis is a species of orchid that is native to Southeast Asia and has a great adaption to the home environment, so it makes a wonderful house plant. In growing Phalaenopsis, they have a flowering cycle that can be very long. It can be actually months at a time, almost to the point where the orchids can actually flower 12 months out of the year. This is a flowering spike that has come up. It has four or five blooms on it. These will last for six, eight weeks. You have another bud forming at the very tip here. Once that's gone by and the stem is bare, much like this right here, we want to leave it be. If the plant is healthy, we want to leave it be. And oftentimes they'll re-sprout out of one of these nodes along the flower spike and a new shoot will come out with new flowers forming. For commercial growers, when they want to stimulate flowers on them, they bring the plant up to size and then they chill it down. And generally the chilling is in the high mid 50s for about four weeks. And that stimulates that flower initiation and then a few weeks after that, a small bud will start coming out of the very base of this plant. This can be done in the home the same way. Usually in the fall, we have cooler temperatures. You've grown the orchid all summer. It's made a new leaf or two. It's strong, it's healthy. You give it a little bit of a chill, but you need to make sure that chill goes on for a number of weeks. And then just like clockwork, out comes your flowers. One of the other issues that we have with fails is that we get what's called bud blast. And this is um, the example of it. It's actually a small example, but it is one in which a young bud actually dried up on a flower stalk. And this is caused by one of two things. The plant actually got too dry, and this would be in the home or the growing situation that it was grown in. And that means you just need to increase your water just a little bit. Um, the dryness is causing that, what we call bud blast, or the plant has actually gone through shipment. So sometimes you may go and you may buy a beautiful flowering phalaenopsis, you bring it home, and then suddenly you'll find these buds drying up on you. And that may not even have anything to do with the soil moisture as it does just the shipping process. They only have to be in a box for a few days and they can get stressed like that. So growing them in a home situation, you want to try your best to mimic the jungle um, environment that they're in. And this is really a partial sun situation. An east to west window is a very good spot for them. You don't want to put them in full hot direct sun. And although most orchids we like to see sort of a paleness to the foliage, if you have dark green leaves on a Phalaenopsis that's fine. They're doing what they need to do. So thank you for watching today and hopefully we have answered some of your questions about how to grow the moth orchid or the Phalaenopsis. For more information, you can go to our website at logies.com.